research tutorial I will be showing you how to slice up or cut up or chop up whatever you want to call it uh, text and other options in this video it will be specifically text but you can also do this for other objects like circles squares just designs that you're working on in general uh, it should work for everything but in this one I'm gonna show you text uh, this is kind of an example of what it looks like and of course you can go like more extreme like broken glass kind of or uh, you know maybe even less extreme you can like take chunks out whatever so I'm going to show you how I do this and um, maybe it will help you guys out and I'll be showing you a couple different ways that you can do this um, so let's start uh, today's Sunday so I'll just do all caps um, Sunday and make it a little bit larger actually a lot larger I'm going to make it a really cool font that is on Typekit uh, called Factoria. And let's do two. Let's do one like this. And I'll demonstrate it two ways. Oops. And then I will uh, do a, a bolder one. So let's do one like that. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, um, I'm going to show you one way with the Pathfinder and one way with the Shape Builder, and I'm pretty sure they should both work. Uh, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to expand this. So I found out a new way to expand it, so you, you don't have to go Object Expand. You can hit Control um, Shift O, um, and on if you're on a Mac, it's Command Shift O. And so what that does is it creates outlines. And if you want to find this effect, um, it is under type and then create outlines. And what's that, what that does is it'll just do the same thing as expand, but you don't have to like go through the menu and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Um, okay, so to start, actually let's pick a different color font. I always use the same colors. What does this green look like? That's, um, I don't necessarily like green. Let's do this weird purple. Um, okay, so. I'm going to first draw a line. Well, yeah, just get my line tool and let's do a line across all of it. And I will arrange the line to where it cuts into the letters nicely. Like I don't want like a tiny sliver on the S right here, so I'm going to drop it below that. And then it looks like it'll cut through the A fairly well, like so. And so what I'm going to do now is just select both and I will come over to the Pathfinder and select divide and so what that does is it literally just cuts it all up and now I will actually come in here and delete all these lines like this because sometimes it creates other shapes so there's none there there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, none there and none there okay so now I'm going to expand it all or not expand but ungroup it um, and it might be a compound path. No, it's still a group. Oh, I was just hitting the wrong buttons. Um, I'm sitting here hitting the, the Mac command. So there you can see it, it ungrouped everything, and now you can split it apart. So what I'll do is just uh, kind of shift this over uh, like that, and then probably shift it down a little bit. And um, that looks pretty cool. And so now uh, that will give you that gives you that kind of um, broken glass kind of trippy looking effect uh, that's shown over here. And so that's way number one with the Pathfinder with um, divide. Now way number two is um, and with this one I think I might actually take a chunk out of it instead of just a line. So I'll do the same thing. I'll do Control Shift O on PC, Command Shift O on Mac, and I will get the line tool again. And to get the align tool, there's also the hotkey. It is the backslash or backward slash, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to draw one line, uh, maybe like this. And again, I'm probably not going to get the the S. And then I'm wanting, I'm going to actually know that for this one, I think I'm going to use the pen tool. Uh, come to think of it, so I'll undo that, and then I'll just get the pen tool. And then I'll just make a triangle, like so. And let's change this to an outline. Uh, let's do black, so it's easy to see. And then let's zoom in a little bit and make sure that we're taking a good chunk out, or a um, 
you know, a chunk that still makes it easy to read, but it looks cool. So let's include part of the A like that. Um, and let's see what this looks like. So what I'll do now is I will make this a fill color. And I'm thinking that just select everything. And if you get your shape builder, you should be able to select all these individual shapes like that. Now I'm going to have to zoom in some and get the smaller shapes but you know you get the gist of it like this and I'm gonna do that and pick a different color let's do blue and actually you don't need to select the black because you can just select the black after um, you're all done with it and basically you know you select the path or the shape builder and you just click on uh, this and it'll have a plus button and you just click into it and it'll create the shape so um, now what I will do since this is the only black thing on my um, artboard, I will select it all. Well, actually, I don't even need to select it all. Actually, no, I do need to select the black. Or actually, wait, what happens if I delete this? Um, and what happens with this? Oh, okay, so you just delete the whole black thing and then come in here and delete the purple. So what I'll do now is double click into this and select one of the purple squares and then go up here to select same fill and stroke and then just delete them all at the same time and so now what you have is like the chunk taken out and they're all still separate from the top and bottom so now with this you can um, I'm gonna ungroup it again and select the top part and I'll probably just group that together and then select the bottom part and group that together uh, whoa what happened group that together and so now you can like kind of shift this over like it's falling off like oh no it got split in half and now it's falling away I don't know it looks pretty cool though uh, but you know you can just play with this and get it to where you like it um, but yeah this is how these are two different ways to um, slice up cut up uh, you know chop up text or other objects in Illustrator and I hope this helped you guys um, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Have a great week.